listeners, it's Monday morning, 7.55am on Rank Radio, your local Buckinghamshire station. And with me in the studio this morning is Juliet Kingston, the corporate fundraiser of our local-based charity, the Royal Society for Children, the RSFC. Welcome, Juliet. Morning, Dirk. Thank you for inviting me on your show. Well, Juliet, I'm sure all our listeners are poised on the edge of their breakfast chairs, wanting to know what happened at your charity event yesterday. Well, Dirk, I'd like to start by pointing out that it was not the charity who were found to have been at fault in the mishandling of the evacuation. The evacuation? Let's explain to the listeners. A pack of wild animals couldn't have stampeded from that building quicker than you lot ran towards the exit, leaving a very devastated royal flat on her back, tripping everyone up as they fled over her. Don't get me wrong, many of our listeners will be overjoyed at the image of one of our pampered royals roughing it with her bodyguard. But I think that many of your listeners will also know the work that the RSFC does to help children who, who have and do continue to suffer. We know the good work that you do, but why so many flash expensive events with the rich attending? I... How does that help children? Uh, well, the, the money and support we raise through these events far outweighs any expenses that are accrued. Yeah, we know, we know. But you've got to see how it looks out socialising with the rich while the children you claim to help live in poverty. It is not just poverty that destroys children's lives and asking the rich to live like paupers is not going to help the children. <sighs> Encouraging all that can give to give and, and channeling that money in the right direction, utilising it in a way that benefits the children, that is much more effective. Yes, but why bring a roll along? I mean, what... They else? give their time and their drawing power to convince others that a charity that has royal status <coughs> is a charity that is recognised as a successful establishment worth supporting. Mocking royalty and, and, and all that devotion they give to others during their lives, well, well, that just shows how little you understand about them. And, and therefore you have no right to air your blinkered views to the world. Harsh words from a charity that gives a massive 17% to the upkeep of its offices and staff. Staff that help a large number of children daily. So, how much money did you lose yesterday? It is too soon to calculate the cost of the unexpected disaster that occurred, but I have faith that everybody who came to the event um, had, a, had a real interest in supporting us and will continue to support us. Um, um, I would also like to state that the disorganised fleeing of the building was not caused by the charity, um, but by the mishandling by the staff. Um, we therefore have no liability with regards to any damage caused during that evacuation. Uh, yeah, that's all very well. And if anybody would like to support the good work that the charity does, uh, and help us in any way that they can, uh, even if it's an hour of your time a week, please call the regional office on 01908 444244. Thank you very much for inviting me, Dirk. Goodbye. But, but wait, I've got another question. I... Well, that bird can certainly squawk, and she's gone. Was this something I said? Well, anyway, folks, it's uh, 8 o'clock a.m., and now we have the news headlines brought to you by Rangaradio. Good morning, and here are the top three stories today. Council officials talk rubbish. Flaming toilet seat causes evacuation in local school. Police looking to hole in Eudis camp. Local officials from the Waste Disposal Department at the Council are getting together today to discuss the introduction of a new collection scheme designed to make us produce less black bin bag waste and more recyclable green bag waste. We'll keep you updated on the outcome. A fire in the boys' toilets at a local school caused mayhem as school children were forced to flee from the building. No one was hurt and the fire was soon brought under control. The damage was minimal, but the toilets are still said to be out of action until the end of term. A local nudist colony that was set up by the extremist group Freedom and Rights to Strip, better known as Farts, woke up to find that vandals had knocked a huge hole in the walls of the encampment. Police are said to be looking into it. My name is Richard Wright, and those were the top news stories today, Friday, Saturday, the 17th of June. 